<laughs> I don't know if you muted it. There we go. We've been unmuted. Yay. <laughs> we just, we're, we're double checking the stream. Uh, we are currently not playing anything. But we are gonna, we are gonna read for like a couple hours. I don't know how long the book is. I don't know if we're gonna finish the book we're planning to read. But if you do know the book, props to you. You're a fucking English major, I guess. Only people that read this book is are working to be an English major or write or in the right or in writing. Tell me I'm wrong. I mean, Tell me I'm wrong. You're forgetting the pangles. <laughs> you're forgetting the fucking what fucking you're right. <laughs> no, they watch the movie. F they don't read the books. <laughs> hey, we can't cross all of them out. We can't cross all of them out. Okay. I'm fucking reading they right. <laughs> they get. <laughs> The oh, oh yeah, that's pretty cool. All we have to do is just go down, right? Yeah, it's the P P P D F. Fuck. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Uh, the book we are reading is. <laughs> uh, you should. <laughs> did you switch back? <laughs> is it still on countdown? No, it's, here, it's, here. it's here. It's it's there. Is it screen on Twitch? I don't trust you. Yeah, yeah, I don't no. trust you. You forget to unmute. You don't know when you're muted or not. Well, uh, <laughs> Everything's broken for you. Are you? Or is it? Before I say the book, because we're gonna, we're gonna spend. They can see. It. They can see it. Yes. I don't trust your. Yes. Thank you. Oh, they see the glitches. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's because of. The We're trying to uh, not watch the play book. This is gonna be a fun ride. This is gonna be a fun ride. <laughs> uh, how many chapters are there before you get started? I don't know. Oh fuck. I'd wanna, I wanna categorize because I, I, if I just start reading, I'm not gonna stop. Yeah. And so I just like for, forget to pass it to you. Pick up my beast. I. I didn't just and I am so intrigued. I don't know what they are. Oh, 19. I'm sorry, not 19. 15. I don't know. 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 Describe in like tags. Okay, okay. Pride and Prejudice is a weird era shit. And then the whole one through the box. One chapter. There's one chapter, and I don't. Yeah. There's one chapter. Oh, there's another box. Watch the film and then read the book. Because I had to, I had no, so I had to take a reading class. Oh, you took my reading creative writing class. I was freaking I love. We took some pretty fucking voices. We were so stupid. We're so stupid. Let's get it. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna be more serious than mine and you're just fucking around. Are you ready to start? You know, 
You don't know you're you fucking what? The hell you want about? I feel like we're teachers giving a lecture. And we're this is our Zoom call it's accidentally been streamed. It's like alright, 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 class, this is the nut is this is this is for your test. Chapter one. <laughs> it's just no, we're just two fucking idiots. <laughs> Who's starting? Are we doing right who's scissors? Rock, paper, scissors. Scissors? Okay. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Fuck you! Yeah! Oh, I don't want to start. Give me snacks. Give me, give me water. Give me water. Oh, thank you for the water. But, uh, yeah, we are. Um. Alright. Should I start? Without you? Alright. It is a truth universally acknowledged that a single in possession of a good fortune must be no want of a wife. However little known of the feelings or feelings of such a man may be on first entering a nation, this truth is a soul fixed in the minds of surroundings that he is considered the rightful property of some one or other of their daughters. Dear Mrs. Bennett, said this lady to him one day, have you heard that another view of the dog is let at last? Ben replied that he had not. But it is, returned she. For Miss Simone has been long has been just has just been here. She told me about it. Let me go. Mrs. Ben had made no answer. Do you not want to know who is taken? cried his wife impatiently. You want to tell me and I have no objection objection to hearing it. Objection was enough. Why am I doing it? Long has another is taken by young large fortune from the north of England. He came on Monday in Ford to see the place. I was so much delighted with it that he agreed with Mr. Morris men immediately. That he left his session before Michaelis and some of his and some of his to be in the house What's his name? Finger. He married a single Oh dear to be sure. A single man of large fortune four or five months in a year. What a fine thing for our girls how so? How can it be? My dear Mr. Bennett, replied his wife. <laughs> How can you be so tired? No, that I am thinking of marrying one of them. Like no, like like <laughs> what do you mean? I was married to you at 16, so will they. Uh, it's like, whoa, bro. <laughs> Design and settling here. Design? Nonsense. How can you talk so? But it is very likely that he may fall in love with one of them, and therefore you must visit him as soon as he comes. I see no occasion for that. You and the girls may go, or you may send them by yourselves, which perhaps might be still better, whereas you are as handsome as any of them. Miss Bingley, may I thank you the best of the party. May I bear you flack. I certainly have had my be to buy extraordinary now. When a woman has fallen with no daughter, she ought to give, her, give over thinking of her own. In such a case, a woman who has not often much beauty to think of. But my dear, you must indeed go and see Mr. Bingley when he comes into the neighborhood. It is more than I wish for, I assure you. But consider your daughters. What do you think what an establishment it would be for one of them? Sir William and Lady Lucas are determined to go, merely on that account. For in general, you know, they visit new, no newcomers. Indeed, you must go. For it will be impossible for us to visit him if you do not. You are over. Am I reading that right? Where? <laughs> you are over. <laughs> Am I reading that right? I'm, I'm the definition of noun is, noun is um, sorry, um, extremely careful what about what is morally right.
Can I can I get Can I get the pronunciation please? Please. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Over scrimpulous. Scrimpulous. Okay. I was like, what the fuck is that? Acting, uh, having moral integrity, acting is strictly required for what is considered rape. Uh, yeah, okay, f whatever. If it's the arrow, I'm gonna be happy about it. Though. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> you are over computers, surely. I dare say, Mr. Bing, that will be very glad to see you. And I will send a few lines by you to show him for my hearty consent to his marriage, whichever he chooses of the girls. So I must throw in a good word for my little lady. I desire you will not do such things. This is not a bit better than the others. And I'm sure she's not as happy. Dude, why the fuck is it so socially acceptable to call like, in this time women handsome, but not in like this time? What the fuck changed? I want to be called handsome. No one ever does. That's because you're fucking gender. You don't mind being called handsome. No, like, it's only like feminine adjacent, like, Compliments are given to me, and I'm like, I want both. Huh. What changed in the fucking and the pink? Like, and that when we started, anyway. That was like recent, 19 yeah, 1900s. Yeah, I know. No longer represented as royalty or or for men, which is sucks. Yeah, okay. so get away, you're making tortillas. Good sneakies, alright. Uh, so I read chapter when you read chapter 2, basically? Alright. Uh, where was I? I was at handsome. Oh. For that she is not half as handsome as Jane, nor half so good humored as Lydia, but you are always giving her the preference. They have none of them much to recommend, replied he. They're all silly and ignorant like other girls, but Lizzie has something more quirkness than her sisters. Mr. Bennett, how can you abuse your own children in such a way? You take delight in vexing me. You have no compassion. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I read. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm going to explain that. <laughs> I ruined the classroom. <laughs> Savory sausage patty. That's a giant ass tortilla, dude. Oven, baked bacon. Fresh cracked egg. Yeah, that might be Spotify. Ed. The breakfast baconator might just be. <laughs> um, I will, however. I love that everything's glitching. All right, um. Mr. Bennett, how can you abuse your children in such a way? You take delight in vexing me. You have no compassion for you, my poor nerves. You mistake me, my dear. I have a high respect for your nerves. They are my old friends. I have heard you mention them with consideration these last 20 years at least. And you do not know what I suffer. And I hope you will get over it and live to see many young men of 4,000 a year in the neighborhood. be of no use to us if twenty so such should come, since you will not visit him. Depend upon it, dear, my dear, that there were that when there are twenty, I will visit them all. Mister Mister Bennett was an odd. Mister Bennett was so odd, a mixture of quick, quick parts, sarcastic humor, reserve, and caprice, that the experience of twenty, of thirty and twenty years, that of three. And years had been insufficient to make his wife understand his character. Her mind was less difficult to develop. She was a woman of mean understanding, little information, and uncertain temper. When she was this He is! Bro, what? When she was discontented, she fancied herself nervous. The business of her life was to get her daughters married. Its solace was visiting and news. He's legit fucking downplaying her, bro. Bro, she's fucking 20. No shit. I uh, she they're like she's like probably like fucking fifty at this point. She's like thirty, dude. Dude, I'm. Like, like she 
is either calling he is either calling her shallow or or of little intelligence eh, like definitely a little but dude all right you're to watch it to you mr bennett has was among the earliest of those who waited on mr Ble- B- bingley Mr. Bingley, he'd always intended to visit him, though to the last, always assuming his work, that he should not go until the evening after the visit was paid. He had no knowledge of it. It was then, it was then disclosed in the following matter, observing his second dollar employment and, and trimming a hat. He suddenly addressed her. I hope Mr. Bingley will like it, Lizzie. We are not in a way to know what Mr. Bingley likes," said her mother resentfully. "Since we are not to visit, but here get Mama," said Elizabeth. "That we should, that we shall meet him assembly. Mr. Long, Mrs. Long promised to introduce him. I do not believe Mrs. Long would do any such thing. She has two nieces of her own. She is a selfish, hypocritical woman. No opinion on her." Violence, they don't fuck the no Dude, absolutely. No more than I. No more have I, Mr. Bennett. And I'm glad to find that you do not depend on her serving you. Mrs. Bennett dinged, d- not to make any reply, but unable to contain her, began holding with her daughter. Don't keep coughing. Kitty, for heaven's sake, have a little shit on my nerves. You tell them to pieces. Kitty has no digression in her cough, said her father. She times them ill. I cough my own supplied Kitty. It's funny, Lizzie. Tomorrow. Tomorrow? What? How do you. What, how, do you how do you separate the two? To-mer- tomorrow? Tomer- oh, no. Tomorrow? No. Tomorrow. Tomorrow fortnight. Tomorrow fortnight. I hate that. I hate that. I'm saying it like it's modern. Look at that. I hate that. Anyway. Hey, so it is, cried her brother. And Miss Long does not come until the day, till the day before, so it would be impossible for her to introduce him. For she would, she would not know herself. Then, my dear, you will take advantage of your friend and introduce Mr. Bingley to her. Impossible, Mr. Bennett. It's impossible. What am I? I equated with my with myself. How can you be so teasing? I can't. <laughs> I can't make any more of this. Your reading. Come here. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even done with my no, chapter. Let me finish my chapter, you fucking shit. Let me finish, finish my chapter before you start rambling on, you old man. The fucking <laughs> Flip it, flip it, flip it. <laughs> Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? <laughs> Impossible. I honor. I honor your circumcision. Circus. Circum. Circumspect. Circumception. Circumception. I honor your circumspection. 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 A fortnight's acquaintance is certainly very little. One cannot know what a man really is by the end of a fortnight. But if we do not venture. Somebody else will. After all, Mrs. Long and her daughters will stand their chance, and therefore. I will take it an act of kindness. If you decline the office, I will take it on myself. The girl stared at her father. Mrs. Bennett had only said, Nonsense! Nonsense! I meant to take it I'm dry. I'm dry. What can the meaning of the em- <laughs> emphatic explanation? So many new words. Exclamation. He cried. He. The father? Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I know. What is the meaning? Oh fuck! Did you did you consider the force of introduction and the, and the stress that is laid on them as nonsense? I cannot quite agree with you there. What say you, Mary? You a young lady of deep reflection, I know. And read great book, great read. I I that was so fucking off, and I said great many book, great many. 
in red and great many books. In great and red great many books. Why is it missing that many? And great <laughs> red great books and <laughs> make extracts. Mary wished to see who is Mary fucking Mary is one of the dogs. Kitty yes. Lizzie? My fuck, <laughs> Lizzie, Lydia, <laughs> that would be no. Okay, Lydia and who else? And who else? Or, or we have four daughters. Who's the fifth? Who's the fifth? Mary. Mary. Lizzie. Kitty. Yeah. Lydia. Who's yeah. the fifth daughter? Who is the fifth Wait. daughter? Well, we'll them. we'll find out. 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 Mary wished to say something sensible, but knew not how. While Mary is adjusting her idea, is adjusting her idea as he continued, let us return to Mr. Bingley. I am sick of Mr. Bingley, quiet as ride his wife. I am sorry to hear that. I didn't tell me that before. If I had known as much this morning, I would not have called on him. It is very unlucky. But as I have actually paid the visit, we cannot escape the point now. Just what he would that of, that of perhaps passing the rest. Though when the first ten um, ten um, of joy was over, she began to declare that it, that that was not what she expected for a while. Good. How good it was in you, my dear Mister Bennett. I knew I should persuade you at last. I could show you. I was sure you loved girls too well. Neglect such an acquaintance. Well, how pleased I am! And it was such a good joke too that you have gone this morning. That you should have gone this morning and never said a word about it now. Now, Kitty, Kitty cough as much as you choose," said Mister Bennett. And as he spoke, he left the room. <laughs> bitch, faint with the raptures of his wife. What excellent fun you have, girls," said she, when the door was shut. I do not. I <laughs> wear it's his kindness for me either, for that matter. At our time of our life, it's not so pleasant to tell you to make new acquaintances every day. But for your sake, we will do anything. Lydia, my love, though you are the youngest, I dare say Mr. Ben Bingley will dance with you at the next ball. Oh, said Lydia, shouting. I am not afraid, for though I am the youngest, I am the tallest. <laughs> the rest of the evening wondering how he could return and how he could return for Mr. Bennett's visit. When they should almost very that is very funny. That <laughs> it's Mr. Fucking Bennett going, Yeah, I did it all for you, babe. <laughs> uh, don't worry about it, babe. Did it all for you. Dude, what the fuck was that? I still I still am I'm not satisfied with with him, Mr. Fucking Bennett. But it's like uh, you did pull through. Not willingly, but you did pull through. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I'm gonna continue. Um, not yeah, no, my aunt, my hand cramps, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> Me and my fucking chronic illness, dude. <laughs> you shut up. <laughs> Alright, let me continue. Chapter 3. Now, the old Mrs. Bennett, however, the assistance of her five daughters. What? You're starting every chapter after chapter one. You didn't say chapter one the first time. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Stream will know. Okay. Oh, so I'm not, dude. Stream knows. <laughs> or do they? So I didn't check to see if someone left through. We're doing stuff in VC. You never went to VC. Oh, but I'm sorry. Do you want me to sign into VC? show up to eat either. Okay, well, no, it's true that they're like an hour in VC, and I'm like, oh, this is nice. Yeah, I know he's, they're drawing, and I mean, do I want to be on VC on my phone, or do I want to be because in VC, and um, Excuse me, we can't control and they're, we can't control them, or we can't like, uh, no, no, it's just screen them, and then, and then, like, get it set on the computer later. Yeah, like, that's Thing, Cause me and you are doing it improv too. If you wanted to, they don't. 
if I get into VC and they fucking join in, I'm gonna go, hey, I'm reading. Do you want to read with me? It's like, yeah, no. Um, like, I'll dream and, like, we'll, we'll do this and we'll figure it out. And it's like, wow, well, dude. And it's like, yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, I will join VC. But, um. I'm gonna brainstorm then. I'm gonna say brainstorm. Um, if someone does join, they're welcome to join Discord. Um, they're welcome to continue with me reading. Uh, but uh, let me continue. You, you went through to my reading. I didn't even get past the first. I didn't even get past the first sentence. Yeah, but to be fair, I've had that thought of just you said that you said that join us to be and then you never want any VC. That's we're all I'm here. That's been disturbing me since the beginning of the stream. I'm, I'm here. All right. Uh, no, shut up and let me read. Not all that, Mrs. Bennett. However, with the assistance of her five daughters, could ask him something. Was sufficient to draw from her husband any satisfactory description of Mr. Bingley. They attacked me in various ways, bare questions, indignant, ingenious, suppositions, distant summaries. But he eluded the skill of them, and they were at last obligated to accept the second hand of the neighbor, Lady Lucas. Her point was highly favorable. Mr. William had been delighted with her. He was quite young and wonderfully handsome, extremely agreeable, and to crown the whole, he meant to be the next assembly for the large parlor. Next to be at the next assembly with the large party. Nothing would be more delightful to be fond of dancing with a certain step towards falling. Love and very lively, Mr. Bingley's heart warmed and Can but see one of my daughters happily settled in another field, said Mrs. Bingley to her husband. If all others equally well married, I shall have nothing to wish for. In a few days, Mr. Bingley returned Mr. Bingley's visit and sat about ten minutes with him in his library in hopes of being admitted to the side of the young ladies. His beauty he had heard much, but he always saw the father. The ladies were somewhat more fortunate. They had the advantage of a scintillating from an upper window that he wore a blue coat and rode a black horse. In addition to dinner, was soon afterwards the had already been at planned courses that were to her credit, were to do credit to her husband. An answering arrived, which differed at all. Mr. Bingley was asked to be in town, following the label to the honor. This is a bit of disconcern. But she did not do business with the the always flying out when they turn to their next set of to be. She was quite her fear that the side of his being blended only to be a large. Her report was was all girls, except with them to the assembly. Group or such a number of ladies, but we counted the day before the ball by keeping that 12. He was only six. And his five sisters and only five of two sisters and children. Mrs. Good looking in the light. He had. I. A complimenting man. He purred. No. It's not like. He counted. His brother hurt. Merely looked at Jen. His brother his fine, tall features. I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice, but only <laughs> um, by noble is in generous five minutes of his and thousand year. Pronounced him to your woman such and he looked with it great about half the evening. So this, which turned the tide of the he was going to be proud of his company. Of all his large dear could say from being a most forbidding and being unworthy to be compared from all your Hold on. I'm stream with. Um, can barely do the point. I, like, no idea. 
Wherever I think to do creative the way they 